So whenever we're talking about a function, this coordinate cannot repeat, okay? So you may see this a variety of ways. Let's check out one question and how you're gonna see functions used on the exam. So they may ask you something as simple as this, which of the following is a function, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at all the x values in my series. This first uh, number is x, the second number is y. So I'm concerned with this right here. And I can see that three, five, and then three repeats. So a is not a function. Let's look at B. I have a negative one, a four, and then another negative one. Here they repeat again. B is not a function. Let's take a look at C. I have a two, a five, and a one. In this one, X does not repeat, so I can circle that. And let's just check this one, D, just to make sure. I have a negative six, a negative six, and a negative six. Well, in all three, the X repeats, so D is not a function. So that leaves us with C. Another way you may see this is when they talk about a vertical line versus a horizontal line. Okay, there's a rule here that will help you with this. Remember, in a vertical line, the x repeats. And remember, for a function, the x cannot repeat in a function. So a vertical line is not a function. Okay, in a horizontal line, the x does not repeat. Instead, the y repeats. And because the x does not repeat in a horizontal line, the horizontal line is a function. Okay, let's take a look at what that looks like on a graph. Okay, you can see that I have my vertical line running up and down here, and I have my horizontal line running uh, left to right here. These are my coordinates, x and y. Remember, x goes from left to right, and it's our first thing we do, it's our first number. And y goes up and down, and that's the second thing we do, it's our second number. So let's take a look at this line right here. I can see that it, it starts right here. And so I'm gonna do my x first. I go over three, one, two, three, and I go up or down, nothing. So this coordinate here is 3 comma 0. Let's take a look at this coordinate here on my vertical line. I go over 3 again and I go up 1. So this is 3 comma 1. This line here, I go over 3 and I go up 1, 2. This is 3 comma 2. And then finally, and this would go on to infinity because remember this is a line so it's going to keep going forever and ever but we're not going to do that. Um, the last point here is 1, 2, 3 and it's up 3. So this is 3 comma 3. I can see already that my x's are repeating but let's just take a look at what it goes through um, when, it, when we talk about the negative part of the line. So you can see here, even if I'm talking about this point here, I'm still going over 3 and in this case my y is 1 or negative 1 because I go down. So this is going to be 3 comma negative 1. This second point here is again over 3 and down 2. So this is 3 comma negative 2. When we go down or the opposite side of, of 0, we are using our negatives. And then finally this point here, I'm still over 3 and I'm down 3. So this is 3 comma negative 3. And as you can see, again, the 3's are repeating no matter what coordinate I choose on this line. So a vertical line is not a function, okay? Let's take a look at our horizontal line here. You can see it's running left to right. I'm still going to do the same thing. I'm going to do my x first where I move left to right, and I'm going to do my y second where I go up and down. So in this case, let's take a look at this point right here. You can see in my x, I didn't move at all. I'm on zero. But I did go up one, two, three. So this is 0, 3. Let's take a look at this point. I went up 1, or I went, I still, I went, I went over 1, and I went up 1, 2, 3. So this is 1, 3. Let's take a look at this point. I go over 1, 2, and I go up 1, 2, 3. So this is 2, 3. And then finally, this last one here, I go over 3, 1, 2, 3, and I go up 1, 2, 3. So this is going to be 3, comma 3. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the negative piece of the line, this one here. 
I go over negative 1 and I go up 1, 2, 3. So this is negative 1, 3. And again, I can see that my 3's or my y values are repeating right here. I go over negative 2 because I'm going the, to the left of the 0. So I go 1, 2, so that's negative 2, and up 1, 2, 3. So this is negative 2, comma, 3. And then finally, this last coordinate here, I go over to the left 3, which means it's negative 3, up 1, 2, 3. So this is negative 3, comma, 3. Now my y's are repeating, but it's okay that my y's repeat. In a function, the x cannot repeat. So a horizontal line is a function. All right, and finally, you will see functions represented in terms of inputs and outputs, okay? And in this situation, we want to make sure that the x does not repeat, okay? So let's take a look at this one. When we're talking about our inputs versus outputs, we know that our inputs um, is x and our outputs is y. Now, remember, the x cannot repeat in a function. And look at Tuesday right here. Do you see how Tuesday repeats? and goes to two places here. That means that x is repeating. You can't have a repeating input going to two different places over here on the outputs. So this is not a function. Let's take a look at another one here. You can see that I do have a repeat from August and it goes Tuesday and Wednesday, but the y is repeating here. Remember we said the y can repeat, but the x cannot. Let's check to see if the x repeats. Well, I have Sunday just going to one. I have Monday just going to, to this one. I have uh, September going here, and I have August going here. So I can see here that this one is going down here, this one's going up here. There's no repeat on the x. And in this case, this would be a function because even though August repeats, August is part of the outputs, and the outputs can repeat in a function. So this one would be a function.